In the previous session, we talked about the selection tool and the direct selection tool which are the basic tools used in Illustrator. Now in this session, I will show you how to create a basic shape and free shape in Illustrator. In Illustrator, we can divide a shape into any type, namely basic shape and free shape. We can create basic shapes by accessing the tools here. Just click and hold to bring up all the tools to create basic shapes. And click this little arrow to make a floating toolbar like this. All of these tools except this flare tool, are tools used to create geometric shapes, such as square, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, and star tool. There are two ways to use these tool like this rectangle tool. The first way is to left click and drag then start drawing a free square or rectangle. Press and hold the shift key on the keyboard to make a perfect square. You can do the same technique with other geometry tools, like the ellipse tool. Press and hold the shift key to draw a perfect circle, and release it if you want to draw a free ellipse. The second way to use some of these tools, is to simply activate them, and then left click anywhere in the artboard area. This will open a panel according to the tool, and in this panel, you can fill in the height and width. It works the same way with the rounded rectangle and ellipse tools, but you'll find things different with the polygon and star tools. With the polygon tool, you can determine the radius and the number of sides. As for the start tool, it is allow us to determine the outermost radius and innermost radius, as well as the number of points. Now we can use the selection tool to move it or modify its size. For the rectangle, rounded rectangle, and star shape, you can use the bounding box or corner widget to make modifications. You will find different things with the circle. There is only one widget and it is not a corner widget like in a shape that has corners. Its name is a pie widget. With this widget you can make slices on this circle like pie slices. For the polygon shape, you can add or subtract existing sides. And we still get only one corner widget, considering the polygons have the same angle. And direct selection tool to modify the anchor point or path that belongs to this shape. Next, now we move to the free shapes. Tool that is often used and the most popular to create a free shape is the pen tool. Press and hold to open the other tools in it, and click this little arrow to separate them. In addition to the pen tool, many other tools can be used to draw free shapes such as the brush tool group, the shaper tool group, and many more. And for this session, I will only talk about the pen tool group. To be able to master this pen tool, you have to do a lot of practice, so I'm just going to show you the basics of how to use it. The rest, you can practice outside of this course. The first tool from this group is the main pen tool, you can use it to draw free shapes. Activate this pen tool, and you can start drawing. First left click to draw a point, which you already know is the anchor point. And just left click again to draw the second anchor point, and so on. If you just left click, then you only get a line path. It's different if you click, and drag, then you will get a curve path. Remember if using the pen tool you have to go back to the point where you started to close this shape, otherwise, it will result in an open shape like this. If you find a shape like this, then it's an open path. If you close it again using the pen tool like this, then it is called a closed path. And that's how to use it simply, you can practice later to master this tool. While the function of these three tools, is only to modify the free shapes that you have drawn. Like this tool is to add an anchor point, like this. Click anywhere on the path where you want it. And this is to remove the anchor point. While this anchor-like tool serves to give control handles or remove control handles at anchor points. Click and drag on an anchor point to give it a control handle, or click and drag on the control handle to remove it. For the rest, you can modify this free shape using the direct selection tool. With this session, you already know what basic vector are, and how to use the selection tool, and the direct selection tool. Besides that, you also know how to draw geometric shapes and how to draw free shapes using the pen tool. In the next episode, I'll show you how to work with color in Illustrator.